The Natural History Society of Maryland has been making nature connections since 1929. Joining us is Anita Tyler to tell us more. Welcome to SMARTS. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Well, I'm very eager to hear about the society, but I'm gonna ask yes. a really basic question. Sure. Can you give me the definition of natural history as opposed to artificial history? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or world history. World history, right. Yeah, it's a great question because I think the term confuses people. So natural history is the study of plants and animals in their environment. Okay, all right, and uh, fortunately for all of us, Maryland has a beautiful natural environment. Yes, we have a wide diversity of habitats here in Maryland, yeah. yes. Now, the society's been around since 1929, as I mentioned, yes. but not always in the Overly location. Correct, for many years it was based in Druid Hill Park, mm -hmm. and that's where we had an actual museum where people could come in and see our, our natural history collections and, and look at our specimens and artifacts. So it wasn't until, and then we did move to a couple locations in downtown Baltimore, and it's only been recently that we're in Overly. Right here in Baltimore County. Yes. We're glad that you're here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, yes. so let, let's talk a little bit about your facility, and, the, and I know there are kind of three special focuses that yes. you have, the society has. Mm -hmm. Yes, our three areas of emphasis, one is to continue to preserve our natural history collections, and also to continue collecting them, and we hope one day um, in the short term to be able to open as a museum so people can come in and okay. see our collections. And can you give me one example of a, a collection? Oh, we have hundreds of butterfly mounts. Oh, really? Yeah, so representing oh. a wide variety of species that either can be found in Maryland or unfortunately no longer exist in Maryland. Okay, so you have this collections. Then you also, I know, are, are interested in research. Yes. For instance, a project that we're working on right now is co-sponsored with the Department of Natural Resources in Maryland, and we're doing a survey of all the amphibians and reptiles in Maryland. What, what frogs, toads, um, salamanders, snakes still exist in Maryland? Mm -hmm. How healthy is the population and where are they located? Yeah. I would imagine because of Maryland is such an interesting state mm -hmm. um, as far as, as nature, you've got the Chesapeake, but then you've got the mountains of Western Maryland. Yeah. And you, that is all, all that history is included then in, in, in the society. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So whether you have the mountains in the West or what we call the Piedmont area in the central location or the coastal plains along the Chesapeake Bay and also the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, now you have a very exciting exciting uh, program yes. uh, going on. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so one of the way we reach people, because we're not open as a museum right now, is through our programs. And we offer a diverse variety of field trips, workshops, lectures, plant identification courses. But the one we're most excited about right now is our Nature Connection series. And it's been free. It's, um, we run it twice a month. And we feature a dif different theme each oh. event. Yeah. So can you give us some examples of what you've done you. and what we can look forward to? Okay, so some are um, fossils, skulls, mm -hmm. snakes. <laughs> skulls, both human and animal, or most no, animal. Right, no human. Right. <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> exactly. Um, a very popular one has been owls. We had some oh. owls in Maryland, including um, a snowy owl, which is rare, rarely visits Absolutely. Maryland. Yeah. yeah. Um, butterflies. Um, learning marine science with the Chesapeake Bay, um, so geology. How do these, where are these programs held? How do you reach out? Yeah. How can people take advantage? That's one reason we're here today is I'm, I'm sure many of our listeners would love to be Attend, part of these programs. Yeah. Yeah. So it's twice, twice a month so far. The, you know, the schedule could always change. And folks are welcome to um, um, stop in any time at their convenience. It's kind of like an open house okay. format. And, um, we find out through our website, marylandnature.org, okay. um, backslash nature connections. And we do, you know, all the social media and publicity as well. Right. Yeah. Right. And a big fan of ours is the um, Overly Association. They, oh. they promote all of our programs. They're, they're very um, important to um, helping us stay there in Overly and yeah. bring in our neighbors in. Terrific. So mm -hmm. I know that you were able to do this program through a wonderfully uh, generous gift yes. from Sonia Blumenthal. Yes, yes. Yeah. So the Blumenthals uh, were very active in the outdoors. Um, the, the husband, Harry Blumenthal, really wanted to inspire people to get out in nature and mm -hmm. appreciate the outdoors. And unfortunately, he passed a few years ago. And um, Mrs. Sonia Blumenthal wanted to honor his memory and do something for um, the rest of Maryland to help inspire people. And so she funded this program. Yes. Terrific. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. we encourage people to get out and take advantage of the wonderful program. The great weather, too. It's a wonderful time. And I know that you're mm -hmm. also always looking to continue this program. So we more are. support is good. Yes. All right. Anita, thanks so much for being here.